Before finding the volume of a cylinder, we should know that the top surface and the bottom surface of any cylinder are congruent to each other. And when finding the volume of any geometric solid that have a surface on the top and the bottom that are congruent to each other, to figure out how to find the volume of that solid, all one has to do is take the formula to find the area of that shape. And because those congruent shapes are circles, we simply write the formula to find the area of a circle. After we find the area of that circle, simply multiplying that answer by the height will add depth to it or give it volume. So we would say the volume of any cylinder is equal to pi r to the second power multiplied by the height of the cylinder. So the next thing that we are going to do to figure out what the volume of this particular cylinder is, is we are going to substitute 3.14 for pi. And then we're going to multiply that by the radius to the second power. Our radius is 5, so we will raise that to the second power. And of course, we're going to take that and multiply it by the height of the cylinder, which is 6 centimeters. Next, we are going to take our radius and raise that to the second power. And 5 to the second power is 25. You must remember to perform any exponents before doing any multiplication, according to the order of operations. Now we have three terms which must be multiplied. 6 times 25 is something that we can do mentally, so I'm going to do those two terms first. So I'm going to write 3.14. And 25 times 6 is 150. So after we multiply 150 by pi, or 3.14, that will give us the volume of this cylinder. So let's go off on the side here and multiply 3.14 times 150. On the bottom, the first digit that we have to work with is a 0. So we're going to simply drop that 0 down. It is unnecessary to multiply 0 by everything on the top because that is going to give us nothing. So move on to the next digit, which is a 5. 5 times 4 is 20, so we put a 0 in that position. Carry a 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. And 5 times 3 is 15. Now we have taken care of this place value and this place value. So on the next line, we must put two zeros, which represent the two place values that we are finished with already. We don't need this 2 up here, because that was from a previous step. Next, we take 1 and multiply it by all of the digits on the top. And 1 times 314 is 314. So adding these digits together, we come up with a total of 471.00. Because there were two numbers after the decimal in our problem, the same must be true in our answer. So this is why we put the decimal in this location right here. So we would state that the volume of this cylinder is equal to 471 cubic centimeters. Don't forget to label your units with the 3 because volume is measured in cubic units.